Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about factoring polynomials. We're going to look to some cubics and quartic 40 degree polynomials. Uh, let's take a look to this one. Uh, 3x cubed minus 27x squared plus 24x. Always look first for GCF. Okay, for any polynomial, and even quadratics, uh, any polynomial of degree 3 or larger, uh, look for GCF, but also for a quadratic, you look for GCF. So here we have 3x, the uh, GCF, and then we have x squared minus uh, 9x uh, plus, plus 8, right? x squared minus 9x plus 8. Right? So this is... Uh, the factor form using GCF. However, if we take a look, this this gentleman here can be factor out, right? We're looking for two numbers whose product is eight and the sum is negative nine. So I think that's the form, right? Double check always your math by multiplying. This is the what we call the prime factorization of uh, polynomial at number one, or you may hear sometimes people saying factor completely. Pause this video clip and try number two. So this is the factor form for number two. Again, uh, I will suggest you to factor out the negative two x. Uh, it's uh, easier than to factor out what is inside of the parentheses, which is x squared plus x minus three. Uh, let's take a look to another type of factorization. Again, we have some cubics here, and here, whenever we have uh, multiple terms, another another way to look at is by grouping. So most of the time I group them like that, the first two and the last two, uh, but be open mind, sometimes you can group them in a different way or you have to group them in a different way. Um, so we look into the first two, x cubed plus 2x squared and the GCF is x squared, right? And then we have x plus 2 inside of the parentheses and similar to the second part, the 5x and 10, we have a 5 in common and the GCF and x plus 2 inside of the parentheses. And Right now we notice this common factor, x plus 2, and then x squared plus 5. Um, and that's, that's it pretty much, x squared plus 5 cannot be factored out, that is a prime polynomial. And let's stop here. Uh, go ahead and try number 4. If you end up with this answer, then you will do a wonderful job. Uh, pretty similar to the other one, uh, just a couple of minor differences. First one here, uh, you see I factor out a negative one, uh, and then I get the same x minus 4, right? Very important here. Uh, then uh, this guy here is a difference of square which can be factored out as x minus 1, x plus 1. Uh, and let's take a look now to four degree polynomial, quartic, I would call them, right? So here again, we're going to have to look to G, C, F, and we notice all of them have X squared in them 
in their terms, right? x to the 4 power 3x cubed. Uh, 4x squared, they all have an x squared in it. So we're going to factor out that x squared. And we have here x squared plus 3x minus 4. And again, this one can be factored out. We're looking for two numbers whose product is negative 4. The sum is 3. Uh, x plus 4, x minus 1. That is the final answer for this problem. Pause this video clip and take a look to number 6. If you have this answer for number 6, uh, then you did a wonderful job. Again, x squared is the GCF uh, for these two terms, x to the 4 power and negative 4x squared. And also, we notice another pattern we talk about, uh, difference of square. x squared minus 4 is x minus 2 times x plus 2. Uh, and let's take a look at these two. And these are the last two in this video clip. And this one is a very interesting one. If you notice here, we have x to the 4 power and x squared, right? Uh, I can do a substitution, how it's called here. x squared equals y. And then that number 7 becomes right y squared, right? Because x to the 4 power, x to the 4 power is y squared, right? If we raise, uh, if we raise this guy, if we raise this guy to the second power and we raise this guy to the second power, we get uh, this guy. So... Basically now, what we can do, we're going to do this substitution and we're going to have y squared minus 12y minus 64, right? So here we're looking for two numbers whose product is 64, negative 64, and the sum is negative 12. Uh, so y uh, minus 14, right? Y, no, 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 so that doesn't work, right? Okay, so let's do the old fashioned way. Two number whose product is negative 64 and then negative 12, product and sum, right? So we have uh, uh, what here? Oh, 16, right? 16 and 4, 16 times 4. Negative 64, obviously this one has to be negative 16. So the form here is going to be y minus 16, y, y minus 16, y plus 4. And basically now we're going to do the, uh, go back and do the substitution of uh, x squared equals y. And we get x squared minus 16, uh, and here we get x squared plus 4. And this, this guy is prime, you cannot factor out, however, this one can be factored out as a difference of square, x minus 4, x plus 4, and then x squared plus 4. Okay. This is the final form for number 7. Pause this video clip and try number 8. So if you have this answer for number 8, then uh, I did a wonderful job. This is uh, the prime factorization for this uh, uh, guy. Uh, obviously, we can have polynomial that have a larger degree, like 5, 6. Uh, take a look to, to things like this. Uh, GCF, uh, substitutions like x, uh, x squared equals y, or 
or things like this. You, you pretty much want to reduce the polynomial to a quadratic and then factor out uh, if that quadratic is uh, factorable. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more math video clips.